Hey everyone, Shalom, Shalom Aleichem, I'm Zara, I'm back. I wanted to show you guys um, these scarves that I got from Haute Hijab. They're based out of New York, I believe. Um, I do have one of their new scarves on my head. I love it, new style. I'm gonna show you guys the scarves first and then, cause that's, I mean, they're all basically the same like jersey, but just different colors. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I got this look. Um, yeah, so, cause it's new. I don't think I've done, well, I know I haven't done this before, but uh, maybe you've seen it before. Maybe you haven't. So anyway, that's the plan for the video. Stay tuned. Okay, so. The first thing, the packaging is great. Um, each scarf comes wrapped in biodegradable plastic, okay? And be kind to our earth and please recycle. So, you know, I'm sure they probably recycle. So that's what it says. Hope oh, hijab. Boom. And I'm going to open it for you guys. It's nice and sturdy. Um, so this is royal purple, I guess. I don't know. It's a nice purpley color. I have like a soft light here and then I have like the ring light. So it's probably like distorting the color. But hopefully you guys can get a feel for it it's pretty like because if you're like me then you've been burned <laughs> before by like really thin jersey cotton um so it, while it's like thin and nice and breathable like it's got some bounce it's got some stretch to it um but it's not like that flimsy stuff that's just gonna tear apart I don't feel like I mean I've only had it for two days <laughs> but I don't think they're gonna fall apart or anything. I think this may be my first time ordering from Haute Hijab. I've always kind of looked at their stuff, but usually I would go for Voile Chic or Culture Hijab. Um, and so I am very pleasantly, not surprised, but just pleasantly, I don't know. It's a pleasant experience. <laughs> um, and then I got this color. This looks way darker than what it is on camera right now. Oh my gosh. So this is actually like a nice, like a, almost like a heather blue. It looks very, very like similar to what's on my head, but it's not. Guys, this is like, let me go ahead and back up. Anyway, it's like a, it's like a grayish heather blue. Um, again, same fabric, nice and stretchy. And then I got this kind of silvery, turquoisey teal one. This, I love this. I did a video on Instagram. If you guys follow me on Instagram, it's Zara Illuminate. And um, I did like different looks with like each scarf, sans the purple. And that one I showed you, that blue one I just showed you. Um, but yeah, this one like actually looked really good on my skin tone. I was like, I mean, can you guys see it? Can you envision it? Anyway, I was like really, um, hesitant to buy that color um but it worked out well so i'm glad about that next up i have um like this navy blue i think they called it royal blue but i'm gonna call it navy blue because that's what it is to me this is beautiful like the color on this like if you were one of those kids that your favorite color was blue like my first favorite color was blue kind of similar to this color like a, a cerulean i think was like the crayola color like man this is just gonna like make your blue feel good so again it's the same fabric no different yo that's a look that's a look If y'all didn't know, like, this is how I come up with styles and, like, stuff to where I literally just sit in the camera or the mirror and just play with what I have at home, basically. It's a look. <laughs> and then, last but not least, other than the one that I have on my head here, um, this is, like, a mustard. Not a mustard. It's, like, a gold mustard yellow. Ooh. Very nice. Again, same fabric. Um, very large. You guys can see. So this is one end. And this is all the way to the other end. So they're very, I mean, you get a good amount 
scarf here for what you're paying for because they are they were kind of expensive like i think these were like 20 dollars each and i was like oh. but then i was like i got that bonus coming so might as well because sometimes with me like i'll be wanting to cover more and i mean no one's really going anywhere now so it's just around the house but i get bored just with like the same scarves or like the same colors because color does affect mood we know this and so it's like pride and prejudice where it's like you know it's just it's exhausting sometimes sitting in one attitude or like having one attitude of color um so anyway those are the colors i got and then i'm gonna take this down and show you guys what i did all right y'all i have the classic the ender scarf on um you don't have to have one for this look, but I just, I chose to. It is what it is. Put it on your head, y'all. Put it on your head. Line it up wherever you want it. I like to have some hair showing. It's just my preference, not necessary if it's not yours. Um, one is slightly longer than the other. Um, I'm not going to say how long because I'm bad at measurements, but one is a little bit longer than the other. I just crisscross them in the back. I didn't tie it. You can tie it if you are all about that security life. So you should have your shorter end on one side and your longer end on the other. And what we're going to do is, which side did I take? I took the longer side because it's got to go all the way around your head and twisted, 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 twisted. And then I brought it up like this, like a crown around the head. And then I just tucked it like that. So you're going to have to like make sure your length is all together. Um, I technically, I actually want that a little bit longer. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to redo that. Yeah, I want this a little bit longer. So um, I'm going to make my shorter side even shorter, my longer side even longer. Because I want one side to be able to reach. Okay, so there we go. So yeah, make it pretty drastically different. So this is your short side, this is your long side. And then I literally just did this in my bathroom and I was like, oh, I'll go show them on YouTube. Twist it, twist it, twist it. Someone's gonna ask me about my earrings. Baruch Hashem, a um, sister, I forget where she lives, but she is Light of Aurora, I believe. Or reclaiming roots yeah she's reclaiming roots on instagram um, she's an indigenous woman and she makes these beautiful custom um, indigenous earrings and jewelry i don't know if she still makes them custom i know she made mine custom um so sweet of her she's so talented but that's where i got my earrings okay so now you wrap it around like a crown and then you bring this up and like dip it down, like crisscross it a little bit and just let it hang there. We'll, we'll fix it later. And then I took this and you're gonna pull this out gently, okay, gently. And then I took this tail and we're gonna put it in there. It's almost like the um, beginner's luck or like a sheer wrap, I believe. If you guys are familiar with like Rapunzel or anything like that, that's what it reminds me of, so. As you pull this, of course, this is going to loosen. That's okay. Just keep, like, working with it. So that's two. I think I did three. And I was like, yeah, we good. Yeah. And so I almost left it like that. And then I was like, I was like, that's cute. But, like, you know, what else could I do with this here? So after you play with it and you get it where you want it, you can take whatever pieces you want, like this, kind of hanging so I just tucked it like so and you could just like tuck it or do whatever you want fix it to how you like it oh no and that's what happened the first time but that's okay because it's all about tucking and so yeah you just go about it and just tuck as you like and position it as you like and so that was what I ended up with and I was like hey <laughs> it's a look it's kind of a look i'm gonna if it's not a look i'm gonna make it a look and 
that was the wrap. And because I've never seen it before, I'm going to go ahead and call it the Zara. Okay, so if you guys do it, please tag me and show me your Zara wrap. I think it's actually pretty beautiful. Um, it feels pretty secure. I'm sure if you're like one of those people that's like out in the world and you're working or you got kids and you're moving or you got a baby and they tug, you're breastfeeding, they're tugging, go ahead and add some pins to keep it secure. But for the most part, I think, um, I think it'll be all good to go. So anyway, hopefully you guys like this look. Hopefully you guys try it out and let me know how it worked for you and if you added pins where because I I don't like pins. Like it's not like I despise them, but I really don't like them. They they bother me. They poke me in the head. They fall out. My kids pick them up. Um they poke each other with it and it just becomes a problem or you step on them. I don't know if y'all have that problem, but I do. And so I just kind of stay away from the pins. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and ride my little bike over here and just kind of settle in and have some tea and enjoy my night. Um, I hope you guys are doing well right now. I know that there there's a lot of um, anxiety maybe and potential stress in a lot of people. So hopefully tonight you guys cast your cares upon the most high and sleep peacefully. Again, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think. Until next time, Emir to Hashem, if the Most High wills. Bye everyone.